guys. So, um, again, this is going to be a fairly short vlog, mainly because there's not that much to actually tell you about at the minute. Um, I'm waiting for the proof copy of Voices to come back to me so I can check the final sort of formats that I discussed last week with the line spacing and things. Um, then hopefully that'll all be right, I can get the print version up for sale and get it all linked and get all that sorted and start pushing it properly and do some giveaways. Um, however, what I am doing is this weekend I am doing a Kindle giveaway of my first sort of story collection, Disintegration. Um, so from today, Friday, through to Sunday, that will be free. Um, if you want to head over to Amazon, I'll put the links down below. And yeah, um, hopefully if you haven't already read that, grab yourself a copy, read it. If you like it, please leave a review. You know, people read a lot of books. I read a lot of books. I don't always leave a review. I do reviews on the blog page, as you know, but I don't always sort of go on to Amazon, and stuff, if it, especially if it's a well-known author. But for indie authors, it's such a huge deal. You know, you've got to get so many reviews before Amazon will even start showing your work to anybody else, really. So if ever you read a book by somebody that you don't know, that's not that well-known, just leave them, it only has to be a few words, as long as you like it obviously, don't leave bad reviews. Um, if, if you've paid a lot of money for something and it's been lousy, you know, you're entitled to have a view. You're entitled to leave a review. But what I would ask is, always think, does something need to be said? If it just wasn't for you, then why say it? Just let other people have the chance to enjoy it and don't rip somebody to pieces just for the hell of it. And there are a lot of people out there that like to do that. Amazon's full of those sorts of reviews, as is even worse is Goodreads at the minute, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, if you, read, if you read a book, you enjoy it, and you know that the author's not that well known, just be nice. It doesn't take two minutes. Give it some stars and a couple of words. It doesn't have to be five stars. Four stars, three stars, just, you know, something positive. Um, what else can I tell you? Half term next week. Um, and then, on Halloween, I think Halloween we might have a cover reveal. I think Halloween may be the day to do the cover reveal for the first of the Queen of Ages trilogy and maybe a release date so I, I think that might be coming we shall see <laughs> I, I think it will be um, I'm going to keep this short as I said um, what I've actually done is I had a trip to the dentist the other day and my dentist is quite a distance from where I live and I have to catch a bus that comes back through some rather nice countryside so I whipped out my phone and I recorded some footage on the bus journey back. Um, some parts of it are a bit shaky, so you can see the reflections in the windows. It's not perfect, but I thought it would make a little change for you to see a little bit more of the area where I live. Okay, so take care. I'll speak to you next week. Don't forget, the book's free this weekend. Links below, and I'll see you later. Bye.